Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be showing you where you can find all 35 star core locations around the new Nuka World DLC map. Now I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this guide and I am very sorry that it's taken me this long to actually get it out there. I have been very busy with my son and all different kind of things with this DLC. But it's better late than never and I hope you guys do enjoy this very easy and quick guide. So first of all, we are not going to be starting from the one that you find on the floor at the star core location. We are going to be starting after that. So let's get into it right now. And here we are at the Vault Tech Among the Stars a Museum, I guess you could call it, which is located in the Galactic Zone. We just want to head right on in. Once inside, we want to go right in and turn to the right. I would recommend that you guys do have quite a lot of ammunition as there are quite a lot of enemies. But our first star core is right here, just behind this little rock in this room right here. You will need an expert pick locking a kind of perk in order to get past this door. So just do that. And once open, you will see there is the star core next to that outfit. Just head on through this way again. And we're going to continue through this vault, in which you can see it's called Articus 1. We're going to head down these stairs, turn right again, and then continue on. Turn left, and there will be another door in which you do need another expert lockpicking skill to actually open. Once we've opened it, it will just be there on the left of you. That is the second star core in this map. So, moving on through the broken wall, turn left again, and there is yet another star core. Very easy. 3 out of 6 guys, we're halfway there. So as you can see, I've now navigated and we're going to go to near enough the end of the ride. And going through again, this is the exit. And you will need to go to this door right here, in which again has an expert lock. God damn it, too many locks in this DLC. But anyhow, once you've opened it, we want to head on through this door right here. We will be in the employee's office. Just turn left. And then do it left again, and there is a master lock. Yes, a lot of lock picking going on indeed. Go through, and you will see there is a star core right there next to the Nuka Cola Quantum. There is one there to the left of that, and also there again to your right. And that is all of the star cores in Voltec Among the Stars. So, yeah, guys, let's move on to the next area. The next location is the Robco Battle Zone, located in the Galactic Zone. We just want to head straight on in. Once inside, you're going to want to take care of all of the enemies, there is quite a lot, but we're going to go through this exit right here to the left. Go up to the employees only zone, right here, and there should be two star cores, one here on the left, and then again, one on the right of the wall. We just want to head back down again, guys, continue to the left hand side, and go through this little doorway right here. Turn right, in which you will need to actually battle quite a lot of robots in order to get these two star cores, so do stock up on some ammo. Take our way back out, and again we want to go through the right way exit. And once down here there will be another load of robots, just kill them all, come around to this little area right here, take this star core, and then we will continue on up the stairs. And there is only one more to go, which is located underneath the stalls at the gift shop museum kind of thing. If you go through, just behind the checkout right there is the next star core. So that is that guys, and they are all the ones in this area of the map. So let's move on to the next area. Our next load of star cores can be found at the Nuka Galaxy ride, which is again located in the galactic zone. We just want to head on in. Once inside, we want to navigate our way through the entrance of the ride, and this one will take quite some time, guys. It is a very long process, as this is probably one of the longest rides in the game, I think. Uh, but once you continue on through this little area right here, there will be a door to the right. Just hop over this railing, open up the door, and there is our first star core out of seven right there. Just turn around, open up the door, and then head on through to the employees-only zone, in which you will now be... Pretty much at the maintenance area of all of the rides, we just want to keep on navigating our way through and eventually we will get to the next star core. I am very sorry about how slow this part of the guide will go but I didn't want to speed up all of this kind of stuff too quick just in case you guys wanted to follow my footsteps. But again, we're coming to the next star core here which will be located left of the generators in that little cage. Just take that on, go down these stairs and again we're going to progress on through this ride. 
Eventually you will get to this little catwalk kind of area in which there will be an elevator. We just want to open that up and go inside and take it down. Once the elevator opens up, just go on through and take a left. Go through this doorway right here and go down this catwalk in which you will find star core number 3 out of 7. Just continue on through this kind of aliens versus cowboys kind of area and we will eventually come to a door at the very back of the map which is located right here. Go through this little maintenance area, up this catwalk and there is a lot of stairs we need to go up against now. There is... It's, it's, it's quite a lot actually, yeah, I didn't realize how many there was until I'm watching this back right now, but eventually once you get to the top, turn left in the next room, there will be yet another staircase, just go up, up it, and then there will be the fourth star core out of seven, just take your way down, go up this little stairway again, and continue on across the little catwalk right here, turn right, go up the stairs again, and eventually we will come to the end of the ride. Just open this door and you will see the Nuka Cola Quantum Girl. Just take a right at her and there on the little control board right there is the fifth star core out of seven. Make sure that you do take those keys on the table right there as you will need them to get past this door. Once you do open it, just head up the stairs and if you look to your left, there will be the sixth star core in this area. Turn around again and in that doorway right there is where we originally saw the first one, which is in fact the seventh. So just take that guys, and we're now going to progress on this guide. This next part of the guide will be focusing on all of the different star cores from around the Galactic Zone map in general. And the first one that we're going to go for is the one outside of Nuka Galaxy, just to the right of the entrance. And you will see this little bit of an area in which if you go to the control room of the ride, there is the first star core. Just turn around and head towards the Arc Jet G-Force ride. And this is where we will be locating our second is star core go all the way up these stairs there are a lot of stairs in this guide so i am very sorry about that but eventually at the top of the rides after you've killed all of the creatures and the robots there will be the next star core located just here to the left right there once we've got that guys we wish one to turn around and head all the way down And like I said guys, I am very sorry about how long this guide will take, but again, it is a very complicated and long process guide for me to cover. Once we are at the bottom of the ride, we just want to take a right, and a right again, and go all the way down here. In which we do also again need to take a right into the employee zone, and just jump over this little fence, head towards this little yellow tractor, and right there next to the dumpster is the next star core, that is star core 4 out of the galactic zone grounds and again turn around head to the right here open up this expert gate and once you do we're going to continue on through the next star core that we're going to be locating isn't far at all from the area we've just been through in fact it's actually just above us in the little museum part of this ride so just head on up turn left and here you will see a couple of display cases in which the star core is located in this one right here. Just lockpick it or have the Galactic Zone Manager's key, pick it up, and that is star core number 5 out of 7 in the Galactic Zone grounds. Once at this area right here, we want to turn left and head on through this area to our right, in which there will be a heck of a load of robots you really do need to stock up on ammunition right here as it is quite difficult but eventually we'll get we'll get to this little market kind of area in which there are loads of games by the spacewalk and just before we go through the spacewalk there is the next star core on the left right here that is star core number six out of seven and i'm not going to get the seventh one just yet guys because i have a lot of trouble getting that at the minute in this guide in fact, the next couple of star cores we're going to be locating is four of them at the Interstellar Theater, which you shouldn't have any problem finding. Once inside, we want to go through the entrance to the left and go down this hallway right here. Eventually, you will see a toilet area, just turn left, and there's the star core right next to the guy uh, who is dead in the toilets. Take a left at the wet floor sign and go through the theater itself, past all of these little rockets, and eventually, to the right little kind of entranceway here, we will see a kitchen. In fact, we need to go to the storeroom in the back, just lockpick the door, 
pick up the star core and make sure that you do kill all of the different robots that are in this area. There is just so many roaming around. Next turn around, turn right and then there will be an elevator. We just want to click that, take it on up and we will now be on the catwalk of the interstellar theater. Just turn the, to the first right, continue on through this little kind of area right here. Eventually we will come to the maintenance room and again there will be a star core located just here to your left. Just pick that one up and no more in here. We're just going to take the elevator down. Once you've taken the elevator down, just take a left at the entrance right here. You will again be in the Starlight Theater itself. Just take a left and there is the next star core right there. Guys, we're going to move on to all of the star cores located around the park in general next. The first Nuka World star core location that you can find outside of the Galactic Zone is right here at the entranceway of Nuka World, which can in fact be found inside the market. Once you head on into the market, there will be a couple of trader stores. Just take a right in the entranceway that we just went through. And right here on these for sale items, there is the next star core right there. Pretty much very simple. That is number one out of five around the map in general. Next, we are going to want to come outside this door, take a right, and head all the way down this little strip of shops, in which eventually we will get to the Nuka Cola Arcade or the Nuka Cade. We just want to head on in. Once inside, just head all the way down to the huge cappy face, turn right, and there will be an employees only zone. Just open up the door, open up the next door, and once we've done that, just to the right of us is the next star core on the weapons wank workbench. I just don't, I almost said wank bench. I don't know why I said that. Uh, subliminal thoughts, I guess. The next star core we're going to be locating is at the Dry Rock Gulch area, and I'm not really sure if we call this the exit or the entrance, but either way, it is the one nearest to the crash down roller coaster that we see in the trailer. Just go past that, past the Nuka Cola mixers, and to the left, there will be a couple of stalls, and right there next to the Dead Raider, or tra Trader, I guess, is the next Star Course. That is the one in this area. Let's move on. Now we're at the World of Refreshment, and this is the entrance right here in this little tunnel. We just want to head on through until we get inside. Once inside, you want to gonna kill all of the Nuka Lurks, as there is quite a lot. But heading on through, take a right here at the Chem's workbench, then a left, and then go up the stairways right here. Again, once we're here, take a left again through this little entranceway, and we just want to keep on progressing through here. Take it right, and now we'll be in the factory area of this zone. Just head on through exactly where I do, past all of the Nuka Cola bottling kind of machines. And eventually, we will come up to this kind of generator area. And right here next to this dead raider is the next star core. I am very sorry if that was rushed. Let's move on. Now we're in a bit of a random location. It isn't anywhere big, but I will be showing it on the map right here. It is the Nuka World Junkyard, which can be found outside of Nuka World. It is a big barn next to a big red crate. We just want to go inside and here to the door, go up the stairs. And just at the end of this little walkway, we have the next star core located to the left. And that is all of the star cores that you will find outside of the Nuka World area. Next, we are back at the Galactic Zone, and this is the last star core, guys, in which you will need to power up all of Nuka World in order to access. And we need to go up this little elevator right here. It is located just in that little museum part earlier in the guide. And once we have right here on the a little control panel, I guess. We have the last star core. I am very sorry about this guide, guys. This is probably one of the most hardest guides I've had to cover, uh, as it is just a load of clipping clips together. Uh, but once you've collected all of these star cores, just install them all into this big machine, the star core control mainframe, and just open up the display case right here. In fact, now you have unlocked your Nuka Cola Quantum suit, and it's pretty awesome. I have to admit, it's a really nice looking suit. I do prefer the red Nuka Cola suit uh, after this one, I guess, but um, still, it's not a bad one at all. Looks very nice indeed, and I'm sure you guys will be very happy that you now have this Quantum X01 Power Armor suit. 
Anyway, guys, I am very sorry about the guide once again, but I do hope that it was easy to follow. And if it was and you did enjoy it, then please remember to leave a like and go and check out all of my other Nuka Cola Nuka World guides. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya. I'm going to be showing you where you can get the Nuka Cola variant power armor in the new Nuka World DLC. I have to admit, this power armor is absolutely.